The DevExpress WPF Map Control now ships with data binding capabilities and a map colorizer. In this video, I'll show how to bind a map to an external XML data source. The XML file contains data about wrecked ships. When the connection to the data source is established, the map control automatically generates wrecked ship images on a map based on data from a data source, along with a description for each image on a tooltip. Let's take a look at how to do this. As you can see from the code, as a data source, we use the collection of the ship info objects generated by the load data from XML method. The XML data file contains the name and coordinates for each wrecked ship. In the XAML, we assign a data source to the item's source property of the vector layer object, and then specify latitude and longitude data members. To see wrecked shape images on a map, define a ship template and assign it to the item's template property. Let's run the application to see the result. And you can see the generated ship images with a description for each image on a tooltip. Now let's look at the map colorizer. This feature allows you to create GDP, population, and other map types. The map colorizer fills each country shape with a color according to the geographic data from shape file or the KML file. I'll show you how to create the GDP map using the geographic data from a shape file. To start, switch to the XAML view. To load data from a shapefile, we create a shapefile loader object and assign it to the shape loader property of the vector layer. In the file URI property, we specify the path to the country's shape file. Then we create a Corapleth colorizer in the Corapleth colorizer object and assign it to the colorizer property of the map control. To access GDP information from shapefile, we assign a shape attribute value provider object with the specified attribute name, shape attribute value provider dot attribute name, to the value provider property of the Corapleth colorizer. In the next step, we specify range stops or data splits in ranges for the colorizer using the colorizer's range stops property. And finally, we should add the desired set of colors to the color collection object that is accessed via the colors property of the map colorizer object. The colorizer automatically associates each color with the specified data range to colorize map shapes. In addition, let's create a map color legend to see the information on what each color means when the colorizer colors the map shapes. For this, assign a color scale legend object to the Corapleth colorizer dot legend property. After that, specify the legend description header, and range stop format using the legend's corresponding properties. And that's it. Let's run the application to see the result. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.